Welcome, chosen one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I just got done recording about 45 minutes of a Thrive deck. Uh, four matches, hidden cash, two lockdowns, which really counters that deck. And uh, one uprising. I did win the uprising match. The other ones were bad. Like, really bad. Like, not fun. Bad. So, you know, I'm going to put the Thrive on the shelf. I don't think my Thrive deck is that good. It turns out I think I have too many just medium value big boys. Uh, not enough ongoing engine value. Not enough, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, we're not we're not doing Thrive. We're not doing Thrive. Instead, I'm going to go with my Alchemy deck. This is a deck that I... It came up with a few days ago. I have not tested this at all. Uh, but most of it is very similar to just a normal alchemy or like, like druids and beasts kind of deck. But basically, Crow Clan Preacher was buffed. It's bonded now, just makes it boost health by two instead whenever you play an alchemy. That's pretty good. And uh, I also uh, noticed. Uh, not noticed, but remembered that Golden Froth had been buffed to 4 Provision, so we now actually have a good 4 Provision Alchemy card. Because before we only had Crow's Eye, which is what, boost by 3 and purify an ally? No one's going to play that. So, I uh, wanted to put together a little bit of an Alchemy list. We don't actually have that many Alchemy cards, because... You can't reasonably put together that many, but uh, we have two Golden Froths, we have two Crow's Eye Rhizome, we have the Runestone, one Freya's Blessing, Giga Scorpion Decoction, Alpha and Onion Soup, because we do have the memes, of course. And uh, of course, our uh, Get In scenario will spawn and play also a couple of Alchemy cards along with another Preacher. Uh, did I mention Sigdriff was right? I may have skipped it, I may have not, but there's also an alchemy, so just in case I did skip it, there you go. Uh, like I said, this is untested. I believe the core of the deck is very good, because it's the same as a lot of other druid-based decks that have seen pretty decent success. Nothing tier 1, but we don't play that here, so uh, we good. Uh, but I guess the real kicker here is that we are using the new Blaze of Glory, Skellige Leader ability. Or remove a Skellige unit from your deck to your graveyard, then damage an enemy unit by its power. Now, it doesn't have massive synergies with the deck, but the, this is actually the type of deck that I'm not really sure what leader I want to play in. Uh, of course, in my Purify Beast deck, I played Discard, you know, Sacrificial Vanguard, just to get extra beasts in the graveyard. Uh, and that works well with that deck because, you know, thinning the deck, getting to our Flaminica finisher, and also cycling some beasts is very good. Uh, we don't run Corrupted Flaminica in this because we are definitely not focused on playing a lot of beasts. We have Roach and, like, Crow Messengers and stuff. Uh, but it's, it's not nearly enough that I wanted to include the Flaminica. And uh, obviously, Second Wind I refuse to play, because it's a two cards in one turn leader, and I really hate those. So uh, I went with Blaze of Glory, because it's the new ability, it's untested, it, uh, it gives us some removal options, it gives us some control, also allows me to play my boy Yalmar. And uh, it can be used to set up Sigdrifus right with either Jetta or Skjall, we also have a Raging Bear as like a plan C. Uh, but yeah, it can help us set up Sigdrifus right. It also gives us a couple of really, really powerful control tools. And we also have Giga Scorpion, of course. Grammist for purifying defenders. So we might actually stand a chance against some of the more bullshitty stuff. Uh, we'll have to see. But this is a... It's a cool looking deck. It's, it's not too different from what we already have seen. But it's more alchemy focused uh, with the Preachers and the Golden Froth. And I'm a big fan of that. And also, it's going to be fun to try out the new leader. Because I have not played with this yet. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for clicking it. Thank you for giving it a chance. I hope it ends up satisfying your needs for the day.
And uh, if you don't like all the Skellige content on this channel, then first of all, you should have unsubbed a long time ago. But also, there's gonna be different stuff. Um, but yeah, if you have any plays of Gory decks, do let me know. I've been talking with uh, some people over on the Discord uh, regarding Blaze of Glory. And it seems the general consensus is it's it's not that interesting of an ability. Like, it, it doesn't do much. You know, it's... Like, it's it's control. Like, you can... It's, it's basically like a vicious slash or a blood money. Uh, you can do a little bit more damage, and it thins your deck and sets up some graveyard stuff, so it's... I'd honestly say it's better than those. But, uh... Either way, it's not the most interesting ability. But it, it is one you can just casually slot into a lot of decks, so it's... It's nice in that sense. Uh, we do have some good cards here. I'm a fan of a lot of this. <laughs> that can work. So I have to see. Death Shadow. The only Death Shadow decks I see, and I do see them quite a lot, is Kikimore Queen stuff. Now, I'm not quite sure how we would fare against that, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see, for sure. For certain, we're against Deus Melody, the bear cub. That's cute. He's got a bear border. I'm assuming both of those are from the the last season. Season of the bear. Oh my god, I'm going first. What the hell am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> I mean I saw the magic lamp, but I just I didn't I didn't connect the dots there. I'm just <laughs> waiting for my opponent to play a card. You gotta play a card, dude. What kind of an idiot take that long to just play a card? Come on. Ah, uh, really wish I ran Delirium, but it's just this is like the one case where it's actually reliably good, so. I'm not ashamed to not run it. But uh, I do acknowledge that it would have been good. Well, we got some point slam, so uh, fight me, Deus Melody. Fight me with your kicky moors. A cool little thing, though, this does apparently count as a gold unit, so. You know, it does work for Elf and Onion Soup. Obviously, it's 5 strength, but if, if you, like, play Self Wound, you put a Priest here, start pinging this down, then you already have the setup. Half the setup. Uh, I don't play any locks, no. Why would I? If you're looking for yet another reason to play this deck, that voice line. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> so yeah, he's thriving. He is thriving. Uh, would have been kind of nice to keep Grimmest here, but uh, it's fine. Or ha having have kept Gremist, rather not keeping him, but having kept him, would have been an ace. So we we can also use Roach for Elfinonian Soup if we don't want to commit Ermion here. And. Uh, I 
Ermion wouldn't pull anything super special, so... I wouldn't be super opposed to actually trying to save him. Hey. So let's try this. We're gonna get... I mean, that lock is not triggered, but that would've been nice. Gontaro did. Ah. Axel. We still have four beasts. But uh, that Gaunter. You think he's gonna kill it? We gotta try it. Now he won't be able to consume that, so unless he's got more big boys, which he does, then uh, we messed him up. Please don't have Parasite. I want this to work. I've never played Gaunter. Nobody plays Gaunter. He might actually see some play in this video. <laughs> That's why I love Elf and Onion Soup. Uh, a couple of days ago, Elf and Onion Soup uh, made me play Villain Tratton Earth for the first time ever. It got killed, but uh, if it hadn't been killed, it would have destroyed an 8 strength unit for my opponent, so that it would have been a good villain Tretmer. Just like this is going to be good, uh, good Gaunter if, it, if I pull it off. God, Elf and Onion Soup in Skellige is so good right now. Like, just Crow Mother. Just Crow Mother alone. Just allows that card. Alright. So he did have the, the play around. That's okay. Damn it. Does monsters play anything else that is doomed? I don't think so. <laughs> That's a shame. And uh, yeah, I know, I know I'm going a card down here. It's fine. It's honestly fine. All right. I'm sorry, Gaunter. You tried. <laughs> oh, I should have just gone with Axel. I would have dodged this whole bullet here. <laughs> oh man. Sucks to be me. Ah. Mushrooms again, dude. I'm actually just, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna roll with this. This is pretty good. Right? A longer round doesn't benefit me. It does benefit him if if I can't deal with this Kiki more, so I should go for it. Yes. Trust equally in heart and mind. Trust equally in heart and mind. Unic my mushrooms again. Oh wait, I am two cards down. I shouldn't be doing this. Shit. Shit. Hmm. I could just. I could just forfeit. Not show this match in the video. Just go into another one. I'm gonna make my mushrooms again. Although, that's pretty hot. What? Did you say something? Did you say something? 
who nicked my mushrooms again? Mahi mushrooms again. I can res one. How good would that be? This dance, you will never forget. I mean, that's an extra alchemy. That would be pretty good. It's a shame this Mardrome is going to be played first, but uh, it's fine. Hey, that is a lot of points, though. Gotta say. Hope it doesn't have Igni. <laughs> it's not going to have Igni. It might have Erden. In which case, stop it. Playing a little bit slow. That's nice. Works with Thrive. Points. I got him. Come on, give me something to kill. Show me your Kiki Moors. I want to see them. Do you not realize that you have to play them now? Mm -hmm. Please play them now. That also works. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe I will show this game in the video. Here we go. Here we go. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, that's a lot of points, dude. Gaunter? I can. I'm gonna do it just because it's it's funny. Let us see how this turns out. I'm all in, baby. Maybe I shouldn't be. But I am. Oh yeah, that's right. They play Renew too. They don't quit. That's not that bad. Alright. Let's see. Two cards down. Dry passing would have left me at only two, uh, one card down. But if this can make him go all the way down to zero cards and make us even on cards, I think that alone is pretty impressive. Let's see. Okay, we did that. Oh, close. Close, and he's going to have Oz roll. And that's going to frick us. <laughs> Can you imagine if I hadn't been two cards down? 
I need a playable alchemy. That's... The best I'm gonna do. Alright. I got my two cards back. And I would have only gotten one of them if I had dry passed. Ugh, if I hadn't been two cards down, if I hadn't messed up, if I hadn't gone with the Gaunter, I would have just won there. I would have won there. I would have 2 0 Kiki more bastards. Oh, that's slow. That is slow. I'm getting too excited. That is also slow. Alright, Oswald is 14, 15, 16, 20, 24. Oswald's 24. Right? My math is right. <laughs> Never punished. Never punished. Ooh. Two cards down my ass. Holy shit. Alright. Taking the Gaunter was risky. I did it for the memes. It cost me a lot of trouble. But you gotta admit. That was pretty impressive. Now of course, we're playing against monsters. So I was able to stick all those preachers on the board. But I also believe that playing against monsters is kind of what screwed us a little bit in the first round, right? And what would have been very, what was very scary in that last round. You gotta uh, admit. <laughs> Next match. Starting now. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be Uprising, I imagine. No. Pinsir? Pinsir. Aight. Uh, 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 good hand. Uh, well, actually, this is not that good. But bricking these is also not that good. But I'm going to go for it. Okay, that's better. We didn't brick the messengers. We got the stuff. The king, the country, the freedom! Is it worth it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, this is NR. But if I don't deal with it, that's gonna get a lot of value. Let's do it. Although, if he keeps pinging my stuff low, then maybe Elf and Onion Soup would have been good. Freedom! Okay, so that's going to be one of those. Well. Maybe I should play a scenario. I should. Company, forward march. I cannot hold back. I don't have the best hand, but I can at least <laughs> force him out of a scenario or force him out of the round with a scenario. This is fine. That scenario was just bait. And yes, I threw a 13 provision card under the bus because you know what? 
I don't think that's what's going to win us, potentially, this match. Jada, you gotta go. You're good. Really want my girl. My girl, Chromama, huh? Chromama? Uh, that ain't Chromama. I would also really want Yelmar. Dry pass. You know what? I am. I am. Oh. Ooh. I don't know. He's a boost deck. He's pinned some maneuvers. So I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to do. It's going to be leader and Visagoda, same turn. If I get Yalmar, I can kill them both. Honestly, even just Gremist to purify the defender and just kill Isagoda can also work, but I want Yalmar. I want my boy. I want my boy, my look-alike. Come on. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. Oh, there he is. My boy. I'm a hermit of a Trump cave. That's a different boy. This is a good hand. Uh, I would like to exchange the Golden Froth for a different alchemy. But if it gets Jutta, then our leader is way worse. Okay. I'm gonna hit me now, I'm gonna have a Long live, etc. etc. Et et That's good shit. That's good shit. Alright. Alright. Oh, guys, we've, we've been blessed by the voice line. We got this. We got this. Are you really not going to play anything major? Really? Because I'm not going to spend my hefty removal on this if you're just going to be a dick. Not respecting Erden, by the way. Holy shit, I'm an asshole. Why? <laughs> Why? He's not gonna play it. Again and again and again. Alright, th this is gonna be netting him a lot of points. And at this point... I mean, Visigoda is mostly a problem with this, and that's his last one. So, I mean, I can at least kill this. With Yelmar. And I can save the big big boy 12 damage for something else. Here we go with that shit. I knew it. I shouldn't have done it. Sometimes the price is too damn high. Oh, oh, no defender. Famous last words right there. Okay. Uh, it, it is worth killing this, right? It's gonna get, yeah. The immediate numbers don't feel good, but just knowing what that asshole is going to do, it feels pretty okay. 
And we've actually got good cards. Like, with this setup, if he... Yeah. Trust me. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's It is time. It is the moment. Wait. Slow, ain't ya? <laughs> this deck is epic. That's fine. Seven limbs, blood and guts. <laughs> I mean, disrespecting the Urden is bad, but uh, otherwise. Otherwise, this is pretty good. Don't kill beasts. You didn't kill beasts. Good. Hey. This deck is working? What? How is it? <laughs> sure. I'm glad I played this first. Really glad I played this first. You know I had to do it to him. This deck is insane. I mean, yes, re removal on these will will hurt us, but uh, like, like the other cards that we play are still good, it's just the preachers are insane with them if they stick. I could be onto something here. Who would have thought Ace of Place being onto something? Wow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This went a lot better than my th failed attempt at a Thrive video. We'll get back to that one for sure. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to make some modifications to that deck. But, uh, yeah, dude, this was fun. This was fun, like, no meme. Well, not no meme. But Elf and Onion Soup is legit. It's legit. With Crow Mother, Ermion, Roach as a backup. Um, it's a legit card here. And it is an alchemy, so it, it boosts Preacher's. It uh, helps messengers come out. It's it's good. We can tutor it. Skellig has a faction tutor for it. And uh, this added removal, just massive boy removal, setting up Sigrifa's right and everything. This is good. I like this. I like this. And I hope you did too. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this, I would love to hear them, because this this turned out to be a deck that I really want to keep playing. I might actually use it to uh, try to get up to rank 4. Um, yeah. So, let me know. If you do try this out, let me know how it goes. If you have any tips and tricks on how to improve it, also let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, or you enjoy my content in general, there are some buttons down below that really really help me out if you just click it lets me know that I'm doing a good thing it uh, helps promote my channel on YouTube it helps me grow so thank you if you click those buttons and even if you don't like just if you just watch my content and you enjoy it that's that's also very much appreciated but until next time guys have a good one it is Easter you know today today Easter Easter break started that doesn't affect me at all and because of the, the coronavirus, uh, it doesn't really affect my wife either because she, you know, she, she's not really going to work anyway, which is great. I'm, I'm really enjoying having her home, actually. She's, uh, yesterday she uh, suddenly got really hyped to play some uh, some TCGs, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. So uh, we're one step closer to getting her into Gwent. She, do, she did like the Witcher series a lot, so she is interested in some of these characters. We're getting there, guys. 
We're getting there. Anyway, have a good one. Hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye, guys. Try this deck. It was, it was good. I didn't expect it, but it was good. Bye.